Hey guys, Tom here. I'm going to make this quick as my uh, camera's flashing here. I haven't used it in a while, so. Um, I recently won uh, Desert Knife Guru's 1000 Plus Sub Contest, and uh, I chose my knife of choice from uh, Recon 1, which is just completely amazing. I'll open up my package here with the uh, Spyroco Delica and the super amazing ZDP 189 package is a little wet it's kind of raining today if you have a, a good understanding of sharpening I highly recommend ZDP it's quite amazing seal so I'll post all the links and everything to Recon 1 and Desert Night Cooler below Oh wow, oh, that's so cool. So obviously I, I picked a Benchmade, which was crazy that I could even consider like picking one of those. This looks like a little Spyderco bug, that's so cool. I guess they just threw that in. Cool, that's awesome. I've always wanted a little bug. So one of those little things that you just always forget to add on to your order. Now I can say I have one. Awesome. It's so cool. Okay. And for the PS to resistance. I could have chosen a spider co, but you know, I hadn't bought a bench made in a while and I decided hey, I wanted this knife for quite a long time. Decided to bite the bullet on it and pick it up. Wow, oh, it's a big knife. I like big knives. Check that out. It's a Benchmade 710. Sweet. Whoa! Wowee! That's a big knife. It's razor sharp, which I've heard that in the last little while some Benchmades are not coming sharper in the box. Wow, this thing's a beast. Holy jumping. Give you guys a size comparison to a military. You know, military is big, and I it just it's this just surprised me how big it is. The blade blade to handle ratio is like ridiculous. Let's see if I can zoom out at all here. It's like it's almost like the blade is bigger than the handle. Wow, this thing is awesome. This is a Delica. This thing makes Delica look like a freaking ladybug. Crazy. Alright, well, sorry, Spiderco. It's gonna be carrying this for a while. I can't believe like I won a knife like this. Or got to pick, you know, something. G10 is pretty smooth though. But I told myself if I really, really dug this knife, I might just have to get it pimped. Seems like a very easy knife to uh, get scales made up for. This is amazing. Really amazing. Nice finish on the blade. Okay, I can't. It's really comfortable. It's nice and narrow, compact. Sweet. Excited to carry this one. That'll wipe down. Put that back in storage. Alright, so this is pretty sweet. I'm gonna have fun with this one. Really comfortable knife. This is gonna be a good user. You know, decent decent thickness on the blade, but it's nice nice and ground. Ground well to a very thin thin edge here. Last D2 knife I had was a bone collector. I didn't really like it. But, um. You know, I have more skill in sharpening now, so I think I'll, I'll be, uh. I'll be better off with this. Just wish it wasn't the painted pocket clip. Well, very nice knife. Very comfortable one. It's, uh. Well, really well balanced.
balances right, yeah, right there in the finger. So it feels like it feels really light, you know, when you're holding it. You just if you just wave it around, you usually tell if you hold the knife and you just kind of move it around in your hand, gyrate your wrist. You can tell if the balance is good but it's by just how it feels light, you know. Whereas if you have like a really heavy, awkward knife that's not well designed, you know, you don't get that feeling. It feels kind of off. This is really, really nice. This is going to be a great, great user for a while, I think. Really smooth. No blade play. Last time I got a bench made, got a bone collector. It did not flick open out of the, out of the box. It was super tight. No matter what I did to adjust it, I'd take the pivot screw out, put it back in, and then somehow just loosened up. No matter how I had the pivot screw, it wouldn't wouldn't work. And you couldn't do the axis flick, you know, with the uh, with the lock. It wouldn't work. But this is butter smooth out of the box. Works really well. All right, guys. Just a quick note too. I'll throw this in at the end. Um, everything's going well. I haven't made a video in a while. I'm just really busy. Uh, my work. This is the my work's craziest time of year. It's our back to school program, so it goes pretty insane with all the college students buying beds and whatnot. Wow, this is awesome. And uh, so it just gets really busy, really hectic. And then you know, like you know, a lot of retail. It's Christmas time. Is your busy time of year? Ours is back to school. Um, we're busy at Christmas, but not not as much as now. But this is our crazy time of year, so it gets really hectic, really stressful. So I just try and you know keep my uh, workload to a minimum. YouTube kind of gets a back burner. Still watch, still comment, but uh, yeah. So I'm pretty much tired. Doing a uh, actual biggest loser competition at work. So I'm in training right now. I'm trying to eat. This thing's awesome. I'm trying to eat as well as I can, and I'm starting to do a little bit of a workout these days. So, you know, sore, but I'm feeling good. Got to get the energy level up, and I want to be in shape for when my next child comes. Yes, J Bug will have a little brother or sister soon in April. My wife is pregnant, so I'm pretty excited for that. And, um,. <laughs> A few of you guys out there know already, but uh, not too many. I didn't announce it officially yet or anything. But now I am, so that's pretty exciting. So I want to be in good shape for that, because first, first time around with J-Bug, gets tiring. You gotta wait, you know, try and wake up, and you're exhausted, and your wife's exhausted, and you gotta get up in the middle of the night, and you don't even hear the baby because you're so tired. It's you know, all you dads out there know knows how it goes. It's this time around. I know what I need to do, and I'm gonna pick up my A game because it gets it gets tiring. It's hard, but at the end of the day, you gotta remember you're not the one who pushed that baby out of your vagina, which hopefully you don't have one if you're a dude. <laughs> That's a ramble and a half. All right, but um, so yes, again, recon one desert knife guru. Super sweet. I'm super stoked for this. Right around my birthday too, so that's kind of awesome. And uh, this will be my ADC for a while. It seems like it's going to be a badass knife. Heard lots of good things about it. So cool, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Peace.